Hey guys, it's Brittany and today I have a quick show and tell for you guys on this hair from Virgo Hair Company. Virgo Hair Company, they contacted me earlier this month to do a review on some Brazilian curly hair for them. This hair looks very similar to the Modern Show Hair wig that I made in a previous video. They sent me a 16 inch closure, a 18 inch bundle, a 20, a 22, and a 24 but installed i only have the 20 the 22 and the 24 and the 16 inch closure the reason i don't have the 18 inch closure installed is because i use that on my modern show hair wig because that was my first wig i made and i didn't space out the tracks well enough so i needed some more hair to fix that one but this one turned out pretty pretty nice anyway it's not as full of course but i think it still looks very pretty this hair was sent to me via DHL and I think it arrived in like three days and so that was really good. The insert footage of what the hair looked like um, before I installed it. It did have a factory smell and so I washed it and conditioned it with just some suave conditioner. Let it air dry for a few days and then I decided to put it on today and wear it out for the first time. So this is a initial review. So the closure and the closure texture and the hair texture is definitely not the same. The hair texture of the closure is like a tighter curl and then the texture of the actual hair is definitely a looser wavy texture. I don't know if you guys can see the difference, but there's there's definitely a difference. So I think that's a little bit weird and I can probably change that, but that's probably the only bad thing that I can say is that the closure and the actual hair don't match but I can always fix that. I'm just going to give you guys a 360 of what this hair looks like on me and again I only have the 20, the 22, and the 24 inch bundles installed and then I have a 16 inch closure. This closure is actually for a middle part but I decided to put it as a side part so this is what it looks like on me. And I'm six feet tall, as I always tell you guys. This is the front. This is the left side. Here's the back. Here's the right side. And here's the front again. So this is what the parting space looks like. I think it looks pretty nice. wig I used the hot glue gun method again but this time I didn't uh, glue on the closure part I sewed the closure on my dome cap first and then I did the hot glue gun with the tracks this is my second time making a wig and I made it the same day that I made my first wig so this is all a learning experience getting better at it the more I practice making wigs I did cut my web so I'm probably gonna get some shedding I haven't experienced any tangling yet, but this is the only this is only the first day of me wearing the hair. If you guys have any other questions that I didn't answer, just let me know and I'll get right back to you. And as I said in a different video, if I don't answer your comments, it's because you probably don't have a Google Plus account where I can reply to your comments. So definitely sign up for Google Plus so I can answer your comments. My edges I use clear ice gel on my edges. And in my parting space, I use Revlon Color Stay Pressed Powder in color medium. I think the four piece deal with a closure is around 220 something. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but I'll check on that and put it in the description box for you guys, as well as all the links to this hair. If you left anything out, just let me know. I just wanna thank Virgo Hair Company for sending me this hair. And I just want to thank you guys for supporting my channel and uh, always being so positive. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.